Minnesota's best wheelchair athletes now have their very own softball field to call home. As Delane Cleveland reports, Brooklyn Park's Todd Anderson Field celebrated its grand opening with the people who made it possible and the athletes who will benefit. He's a utility infielder. A field to call home is a special thing. Just ask Stacy Bates of the Junior Rowing Twins. It's pretty big. It's, it's awesome because we've been wanting this for a while. In the past, Bates and the rest of the Rolling Twins softball teams from Courage Center had to play their games in less than ideal conditions. We'd been in parking lots um, all over town trying to find a level parking lot that doesn't have any posts, that doesn't have trucks driving through it, that doesn't have speed bumps. Now those days are long gone. We don't have to worry about getting hit by cars in the outfield, so that's nice. <laughs> Thursday night, the junior and adult Rolling Twins celebrated with the people who made it happen. This is the first competitive wheelchair softball field in Minnesota. We want to be first or best. And I think with today's stadium, we are first and best. The field was made possible thanks to a $200,000 grant from Major League Baseball and the Pepsi Refresh Project. The Minnesota Twins chose Courage Center to be their charity partner in a contest two years ago. And after receiving two million votes, Todd Anderson Field became a reality. I want to say congratulations to these athletes and good luck on this field. The way we're going at second base, we might sign a second baseman out of here tonight, Tim. We never know. All jabs at Siyoshi Nishioka aside, the players had nothing but praise for their new ballpark. It makes us feel like we actually are a team. I think this has actually brought us closer together. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Courage Center named the ballpark after former wheelchair softball player Todd Anderson, who passed away two years ago.